It has been a crazy few weeks, but I'm back with another restoration. This is a commission from a friend of mine. He had this beautiful G1 jet fire that he wanted to have touched up. It's actually in great shape, except for the uh, yellowing on the chest and some of the back. And also I noticed that one of the shoulder joints was way loose. So I decided I would go ahead and take care of that for him as well. You can see that it's sticking out a lot further on the right shoulder than the left shoulder. Also in part two of this video, I will do a full sticker placement using the Toy Hex stickers. There are three pages of these. This is a lot of work. Getting started, we're going to fix the shoulder joint. Well, first thing we gotta do is take off all of this armor. Um, I'm still really careful with armor because it is so brittle sometimes and uh, the little tabs that hold them on are very small. So be careful with this, but uh, if you have it, if you don't, um, good luck trying to find it. So the assemblies inside a jet fire are really, really complicated, but also it's really interesting to see how they used to do these things. Um, we're going to go ahead and crack open the shoulder, unscrewing these two screws. Normally there would be a sticker over these, but the stickers have already been removed on this one uh, by someone else in the past and or they've never been put on it in the first place. So all the screws are visible and that was pretty cool and saved me a step there. Inside the shoulder you'll notice a spring gear and screw system and the way to tighten this is just to tighten this screw. Um, you'll want to be able to drive it in. The best way to do it though is to have it on this on the bottom plastic piece as well. You see how it fits in that groove there and then you tighten it down like that. It's actually a pretty genius little mechanism for such for just a shoulder. It's pretty pretty clever. After that, we'll go ahead and button everything back up, um, putting the screws back in place as we will not be taking the arms all the way apart on this because the rest of the commission uh, just calls for de-yellowing the chest and the back plate and wings. All right, now we're gonna take apart the pieces that we want to de-yellow. In order to do this, we have to take Jetfire almost all the way apart. To do that, we're gonna flip open his back uh, backpack, open his wings, and then flip, flip him all the way up and lay them flat so that we can get to the screws on the inside of Jetfire. Here you can start to really see the yellowing that has happened over the last 35 years. To start, we're going to start with the nose of the aircraft. You will find four screws on the nose side of the aircraft. Um, there are two on each shoulder, one under the head and then one at the very tip. Um, in order to do the one at the very tip, you want to ex extend the landing gear so that there's no tension on the spring or on the plastic. And the last screw is hiding under the head. Now that he's cracked open, you can see the sliding mechanism for the chest. Um, there's only one screw holding this together, so undo the screw, set it aside with the slide. There are three more screws on the back, um, two under each arm. You'll see the metal flaps. You want to pull those up and there will be screws under there and then one in the middle. And uh, that should free up the backpack from the arm mechanism. This is what I call the arm mechanism. You'll see it's just a piece of plastic with two metal tabs that hold the arms in place that allow them to move to transform from jet mode to robot mode or gerwalk mode. Now we want to pull the metal tabs that hold the front half and the back half together. And um, from there, all of this is going to go into a bath of 3% hydrogen peroxide to sit out in the sun and de yellow for a few days. There are more aggressive ways with higher percentage of hydrogen peroxide you can use. I like to use 3% because it's probably the gentlest and uh, you can really fine tune your results 